Welcome to the final section of the course, bringing it all together. In this section, we'll be taking up a real world data set and uh, try to answer a few questions based on the techniques that we have learned in the previous sections. So the first video in this section is Wine Data Analysis, the initial setup. I'll provide you a brief information about the Wine data set. Then we'll take a look at the different columns in data set not from a statistical purpose but what do the columns actually represent and then we'll define a set of questions that we'll try to answer based on our analysis so let's begin so the wine data set contains information about various physiochemical properties of wines the data set contains information about two types of wines red wine and white wine so now each wine has a quality label associated with it so which defines the relative quality of the wine so it is on a scale of 0 to 10 the data set is available at this link for download and you can refer the original paper uh, for more information about the data set now what we'll do is we'll load the data set and take a look at the different columns so the data set consists of two files first one contains the data about red wines and second one contains data about white wines let's take a look at the columns both the wines have the same set of columns fixed acidity volatile acidity citric acid residual sugar chlorides free sulfur dioxide total sulfur dioxide density ph sulfates alcohol and quality so what do these columns actually mean so the fixed acidity is basically the amount of tartaric acid present in the wine while volatile acidity is the amount of acetic acid present in wine citric acid as the name suggests is the amount of citric acid in wine and it contributes to the crispness of wine residual sugar is the amount of sugar left in the wine after the fermentation process is complete while chlorides is the amount of sodium chloride or your salt present in wine free sulfur dioxide is present in two forms in your wine first is free sulfur dioxide and second is bounded sulfur dioxide or just sulfur dioxide in bound form so total sulfur dioxide is the total amount of sulfur dioxide present in both free and bound form now sulfur dioxide acts as an antimicrobial and antioxidant agent in your wines. Also note that too much sulfur dioxide can lead to a pungent smell in wine. Density of the wine obviously gives the density of the wine. pH of the wine gives the pH of the wine on a scale of 0 to 14 where 0 means highly acidic while 14 means highly basic. Sulfates is basically the amount of potassium sulfate present in wine. This basically contributes the formation of sulfur dioxide. Alcohol is the percentage volume of the alcohol content in wine. And the final column that is the quality basically grades the quality on a scale of 1 to 10. So higher the quality, higher is the value on the scale. So there are few questions that we can try to answer some initial set of questions the first one being which factor or combination of factors affect the quality of red or white wine do the different types of wine have different factors affecting their respective qualities and is there any existing trend in the data within the other columns besides the quality column so in the subsequent videos we'll take a look at red wine then white wine and then combine the data set and uh, try to answer these questions so a quick recap we took a look at the different variables in the wine data set and we decided upon a fixed set of questions that we'll try to answer based on our analysis in the subsequent videos for reference uh, you can refer this link to the original paper about the data set for more information